hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by three different methods as you can see over here so in the very first uh, this method we want to solve this quadratic equation by factoring method so let's go ahead and get started with the factoring process i want you to put two parentheses right up here First, I want you to just put down this part only, this part, 3x. I want you to put down 3x right up here and 3x right up here. And one more thing, there's a no coefficient right here in front of x so by default if you, there's no coefficient you just put one over there so the coefficient is going to become negative one so the next step is i want you to look at this three on the left hand side and negative two number on the right hand side i want you to multiply these two number three times negative two is negative six so I want you to put the negative six number right on the top in this diagram and this middle number, which is negative one, just put it right at the bottom over here, right underneath. Now I want you to look at this negative six. What are the possible factors of negative six? If you add them, you're gonna get negative one. So obviously those two number is going to be positive 2 and negative 3. So those are the factors. So I want you to go ahead and put down these positive 2 and negative 3 right up here. So positive 2 is going to be right up here and negative 3 is here. Now I want you to look at the second parentheses and see, look for a biggest number among these two that divides into both of them at the very same time. So obviously that number is gonna be three, isn't it? So you divide these two numbers by three. And also you can see in the first parenthesis, there's nothing in common between three and two, so just leave them alone. So our, this, these parentheses is gonna become three X plus two in the first one. And in the second one, when you divide it by three, this become one X minus one. So these are our factors. So we got the factors for this quadratic equation as these ones from here. We can see set it equal to zero and let's solve for X. Since there are two, two factors equal to zero, split them up separate them 3x plus 2 equal to 0 and the other one is x minus 1 equal to 0. as you can see when you move this positive 2 on the other side become negative 2 now i want you to divide both side by 3 so x turns out to be a negative 2 over 3 that is one of our solution on this side x equal to positive one is another solution so thus negative two third and one are our solutions and in this second method we will be solving this given quadratic equation by completing the square method the very first thing as you can see the coefficient over here is missing i'm going to put down one by default okay the next step is we want to see whether our leading coefficient is 1. By, but this is 3, right? Now, how are we going to make it 1? We're going to divide uh, this leading coefficient by 3 to get it 1. If you want to divide this one by 3, you must divide across the board by 3. Each and every term divided by 3. So this simply becomes, 3 over 3 become 1x squared minus 1 over 3x minus 2 over 3 equals to 0. 
So the next step is we want to make sure that we move this negative two third on the other side because we want to make sure only x variable must be on the left hand side. So once we move this negative two third on the other side, we're going to have x squared minus one over three x. When you move it on the other side, it becomes positive two over three. So the next step is, I want you to just look at this coefficient of x, which is one over three. Don't worry about this negative sign. We are only concerned about this one, one over three. Just put it over here. We wanna divide it by two. Dividing by two is same as we are multiplying by one over two. So that's gonna give you, if you multiply thing, one over six. And then what I want you to do is, whatever this quantity you get, you must square it. So this is the quantity that we're gonna add on both sides of this equation. So this our, we can write as, as x squared minus one over three x plus and you put down 2 over 3 plus so now i'm gonna go ahead and add this 1 over 6 on both sides square and 1 over 6 on this side as well now as you can see on the left hand side this represents a complete square so the complete square is going to be x minus 1 over 6 square equals to 2 over 3 plus 1 over 6 square is same as 1 over 36. And now if you might be wondering how I got this one complete square so we use this well-known fact this is a square minus 2 times a b plus b square is always equal to complete square of a minus b power 2 that's what i did so as you can see this x over here it showed up right up here this 1 over 6 is right up here and whatever this negative sign that's going to be in the middle so the next step, what are we going to do is, we are going to simplify this uh, fraction over here. As you can see, this fraction, I will put it right up here and simplify it. So now, what we're gonna do is, we wanna make sure that we have the common denominator of 36. That means if I multiply this three by 12, I'm gonna get 36. So I'm gonna multiply top and bottom by 12 so that's gonna give us 2 times 12 is 24 over 36 plus 1 over 36 since we have the same denominator I'm gonna just put down 36 so we got 24 plus 1 so that is gonna give you 25 over 36 as our simplified form of this fraction so I have put down x minus 1 over 6 squared equals to 25 over 36 as a simplified form of these fractions. The next thing we want to get rid of this square. How we can undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So that means this square and square root, they undo each other. We got x minus 1 over 6. When you take the square root of 25 which is 5 and the square root of 36 is 6 so we can write positive or negative 5 over 6 now we want to isolate x so we must move this negative 1 over 6 on the other side so we got x equal to 1 over 6 plus or minus 5 over 6 now we're going to go ahead and split uh, these two signs over here so the very first thing is going to be i can write 
1 over 6 plus 5 over 6 and the other side is going to be a 1 over 6 minus 5 over 6. So this is going to give you 6 as common denominator 1 plus 5 which means we got 6 over 6 so x equals to 1 is one of our solutions here we got 6 as common denominator 1 minus 5 which is same as negative 4 over 6 so that means if you reduce it you're going to get x equal to negative 2 over 3 is another solution so thus negative 2 third and 1 is our solution set and finally we're going to solve this quadratic equation by using this method called quadratic formula and here's the quadratic formula that we will be using is right up here and our coefficients a equals to 3 is right up here b equals to negative 1 is right up here and c equals to negative 2 is right up here let's go ahead and plug it in these values in this quadratic formula so we're going to have x equal to minus and b is negative 1 plus minus b in our case b is negative 1 square minus 4 times a and c is negative 2 everything is divided by 2 times 3 so far so good so this is 3 so now uh, let's go ahead and simplify that one negative and negative become positive 1 plus minus square root of this becomes simply negative 1 squared is always positive 1 and this is going to give you if you multiply plus 24 divided by 2 times 3 is 6 so in the next step we are going to put 1 plus or minus square root of 25 divided by 6 and we know that the square root of 25 is always equal to 5 so I can write 1 plus minus 5 over 6 now we're going to go ahead and split these positive and negative sign and we're going to get 1 plus 5 divided by 6 and this side 1 minus 5 over 6 1 plus 5 is 6 over 6 means x equal to 1 is our one of the solution here we got negative 4 over 6 which could be reduced to negative 2 over 3 this is our another solution thus negative 2 over 3 and 1 is our solution set thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos